here before. Um, I walked out of employment and walked all the way home, 27 kilometers. I used to stay in Umoja. And the reason why I left is because I didn't want to go back to that work. And I kept thinking every day I go, I am not improving. Now, the scenario that I found myself in, I didn't have mentors. I didn't have this, uh, where we will sit. And remember when she's speaking and when uh, my friend here will speak, I'll also be learning something. Even you guys when you speak. Yes. So sometimes the so-called mentors, which is us, we actually learn more from you guys because there is what you know that we don't know. Yeah, so the leap was forced. Yeah. Where you feel I need to live. Yeah. And do something for myself. But trust me, it's not easy. Mm -mm. At some point I nearly went back, but uh, I locked myself in the house. Yeah. So I don't leave. Yeah, so I was in the house for a month. I wasn't leaving. Because I kept telling myself if I go back, it won't change. Wow. And not that I had something I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do. No. But I kept feeling I, there is what I need to do, but I had to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, wow. Funny. Someone note that for me. To Tarudiapo, what he was doing for a month and what was going, what was going on in his mind. Please. I want to come to you, um, Mr. Chapkaris. Uh, so you come to Nairobi. There's a struggle for school fees, for university fees. And then you finish university, and uh, your sponsor has different dreams from yours. In his case, someone was funding his education who had this idea, but he felt he wanted this. So how did that, where was the alignment? We should be able to pursue our dreams, or be allowed to pursue our dreams. And what I also know is very important, which Chris has touched on, is mentorship. Mm. Some of us lacked mentorship. Yeah programs. I think in high school then it was called counseling. Mm. It's a department for counseling, but I think they meant mentorship is mm. the right word. Um, uh, and it's good, it's happening, and it's, it seems very deliberate from uh, industry captains like you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is what's key. Yeah. That's what we lacked then. Because yeah. there are mentorship programs for young people yeah. uh, like this then things would be seamless the flow would be seamless yeah. uh, and you won't feel divided you somebody wants you to do medicine then you end up in law uh, you take a lot of time realigning your systems yeah. to to posture uh, the future that you want yeah. so yeah i would just say that it's important to deliberately yeah, put up these programs for mentorship. Mm. Yeah, that's what we lacked then. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. Mm. Even today, that's lacking. I wanted to be, I didn't know what I wanted to be, but my parents wanted me to be mm. a lawyer. Mm. And, and I'm thinking, law, Nirudi Shuletana, and that's G how many years. I hated boarding school already. I was an introvert. I think I still am. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I, go to, I go to school where I see people again. So obviously, I didn't take law, and obviously, it brought a rift. And I still didn't know what mm. I wanted to do. So that shift was mended a few years later. But how I knew is one day I'm watching the news, KTN to be specific, and there was University of Nairobi rioting. And that excited me. I said, I actually would love to be in the mix midst of this. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what career is this they do for that to happen? And that's how my journey was formed. That is really my story. But I didn't, like you, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm. So let's come to, for example, who wants, who can I give an example with? Who can I use? Okay, mercy. Ladies again. So uh, tell me what you, what you do. Okay, so currently I'm a management consultant. Okay. I studied commerce. Uh, recently finished campus. Yeah. So yeah, that's the space I'm in. I'm passionate about policy making. Yeah. So I gravitate towards advocacy. Yeah. Mm. So is that what you've always wanted to do? It's been a figuring out journey. Yeah. Amongst my siblings, some of us are Gen Z, others are millennials. So for me and my fellow Gen Z, they've agreed that our space is dynamic. We are the type that can change jobs. In, within a year mm. or within a decade mm. so I think that's why I enjoyed consulting because of the dyna uh, dynamic nature but yeah. also the fact that I get to choose the kind of projects I can get involved in okay so you brought up the generational question uh, and you've also said two words evolving and changing jobs as and when you feel like him and Ibo, uh, what else can I do so that fluidity who else is in that space nobody <laughs> 